we are guys, the Palladium on Queen Street. I'm here to uh, have a chat with Dan today, the owner. Um, let's go outside and have a look, say hello. What's up Dan? How are you man? Not bad yourself? I'm good, I'm good. All good, keep them warm. This is the shop guys, pretty snazzy. Freaking love it, I love the decor, is that the word? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very nice. All right, let's get into it. All right, what's up guys, back again, episode three. Um, I'm here with Dan from the Palladium at um, Croydon. Croydon, yeah. Croydon. I'll let Dan uh, tell you a bit about, um, or tell us a bit about yourself. Um, yeah, hello. Uh, how you going? <laughs> <laughs> I've been hairdressing probably 22 years this year. Um, I know I look really young, so that's probably why, you know. Damn good, damn good. Name. Um, we can thank Prana for that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I've been hairdressing 22 years. I've, um, I've been a ladies and men's hairdresser for, for that process. I started when I was 16 um, in a, I suppose, in an environment where I came in with a lot of family in the hairdressing industry. So yeah, yeah. my mum and dad, a whole lot were hairdressers. So um, I didn't go work for anyone in my family to yeah. start with. I went to work for someone completely different. Yeah, the best way sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> um, Don't find less than that. And then, yeah, well then that's, and that, that's pretty much where it all started. And then um, 15 years ago, I started up my own business, mm -hmm. which was, um, in the city, we called it Symmetry, and we had that for a long, long time. And then just recently, we bought the Palladium about four years ago and amalgamated the two shops and moved them here. Mm, that's it, huh? Yeah. It's too easy. And what about you? Who are you, Dan? Tell us about you. Who am I? Who's Dan? Who's like Dan? Dan. Who's Dan? I'm a uh, fun liberal. <laughs> yeah, hello. Cool. <laughs> Who uh, enjoys, enjoys to have a bit of a chat with people, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I suppose that's part of our industry. Um, we it's about safety, yeah, you can make really with people here. Then, it is, and yeah. we, we like to have a chat. We like to we like to talk and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So that's just a bit of my personality. Mm -hmm. um, I love sport. Yeah, it's one of my favourite things. My favourite part is football, like it's European like football. Football. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good one. My question. Yeah, you European, football. European <laughs> football. Um, uh, yeah, I follow Liverpool. Uh, it's one of my my favourite teams. Um, but yeah, I've played since I was a kid. Yep, yep, yep. And I'm still enjoy watching it, can't play anymore, but I'll yeah, still watch it. But yeah. yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, cool. Easy man, all right, our business, tell us a bit more about your business and what you do here, uh, so people can know. Like, okay, yeah. so the Palladium um, is ladies and men's hairdressing. Mm -hmm. We, um, over the last four years, have sort of really turned this place around because we bought this yep. Yep. through the wall when we first bought the place. Yep. Um, so we do ladies, men's, colours, cutting, Styling, weddings, mm -hmm. we do the whole lot. Mm -hmm. So we're a, we're a one-stop shop in a lot yeah, of ways yeah. in, the hair, in the hair world. Um, our business itself is, I suppose, a we we try to classify ourselves as a high-end sort of summer. Yeah, cool. Um, so the work we try to do is always quite high-end, yeah. and the people we try to get in here are quite high-end high -end at the same time. Yeah, yeah. cool. Um, but on the other hand, we still do a lot of youth as well. So yeah, awesome. yeah that's a bit about our business, but we. Yeah, as a whole, we um, yeah we prize ourselves in our work. So yeah, nice. Beautiful. Do you have like a favourite? Um, I don't know, what's the word? Like, do you like doing weddings? Do you like doing group? Like some sort of yeah, we do. We do a few yeah. weddings. This is we're coming up to wedding season now. Yeah. Well, now that this yeah, winter's yeah. passed, I think yeah. wedding season's really coming on. Yep. Um, I've got a wedding in another week's time, but yeah. we, we don't we don't do a lot of weddings. Yep. Okay. But we we can, we do do weddings. Yep. Um, Eventually, once we get the, the place next door yep. set up, that'll be where a lot of the weddings get done. Yeah. And then this becomes the salon, that becomes the wedding centre. Yeah. Um, I think weddings in general like to sort of keep themselves a little bit separate from the salon yeah. sometimes. Yeah. They feel like it's their own space. Yep. Um, but yeah, we, we definitely specialise in our colour and cutting. That's where okay. our main yep. 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 our main thing is. Mm -hmm. um, color, we've got all colour specialists that work here. They all do amazing colour courses that we put them through. Um, Every single staff has the same course, which yep. means they're all up to the same, yep. Um, yep. same yep. curriculum. Um, but yeah, we, we do basically men's cutting as well. So, mm -hmm. but what about you? Do you have like a favourite style or favourite thing you like to do? Like, um, I'm a cutter. You're a cutter, so I cut mainly. Okay. Um, we do do I do I do colour as well, but mainly I do I do cutting. Yeah, and yep. then I try to get the staff to do a lot of the colour work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but overall, yeah, my my thing was always cutting. Mm -hmm. That's when I started. Yeah. That's, that was the thing that I. That was just the yeah. All right. Um, I suppose you touched on why you started. With, you know, you sort of fell into the family, yep. being hairdressers and yep. stuff yep. like that. So we'll just go past there. Any hurdles or roadblocks along the way for you? And how do you like um, overcome them? Um, so hurdles, I suppose. 
starting up a business, yep. there's always hurdles. Yep. So yep. I think our first business, I was a bit lucky with my first business because I went into partnership with my father who yep. had already set up a business prior to that. Yep. Do you know yep. what I mean? Yep. So I think he had the, the nuts and bolts to the whole yep. thing. Yep. Whereas yep. when I um, opened up this one, it was a bit raw. Do you know what I mean? We really had to sort of nut it down, start from scratch, rebuild it up. Um, so there was a hurdle of trying to rebuild a business basically. Yep. So we bought a business that was pretty run down at the time. So to get it up to where it needed to, to be was um, a big risk. Was, was, it's a big risk. Yep. You know, we started with bringing some of my clients over, but none of the other staff had clients. Okay. So I was sort of trying to rebuild them yeah, okay. and then yep. trying to get the right staff on board. So yep. the biggest hurdle we find in our industry is is staff, like trying to get the right group, trying to get the right mix. Yes. You, know. you have to have the right people going. If they don't fit, they don't fit, do they? That's right. Yeah, 100%. Do you have any sort of values you run by in your business? Like, do you have any set sort of values or just things well, that things, sort of... Um, yeah, my, my biggest thing with my staff, and this is what it always is, is customer service. Yep, okay, cool. So that's, you know, yep. the most the most highest thing on the, uh, on the list every time. I think customer service for us is because, you know, a client comes in here, they want to relax. Yeah. They want to be spoiled. They want to yeah. chill out. They don't want to do anything else but get their hair done. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so they don't want to. They don't want to sit there and get really terrible customer service yeah. because at the end of the day, um, you know that's it's important. I think you know. Hundred percent. Yeah. But that's one of my that's one of my strongest values that we always put. Right. We prize ourselves on is our customer service. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. No. I'm about to go. I'll go once a week. Everybody. Get my hand on once a week, that's not my chill out time. <laughs> I don't know how to do is sit down and chair no talk. But um, yeah, um, favourite thing about being a cut hairdresser, hair cutter, stylist, business owner, what's the best thing about it? No, I think it's just, I think the best thing about it was cutting hair, I enjoyed cutting hair. Yep, cool. But I think the actual thing I enjoy the most is actually just being social. Yeah, connecting with people. It's connecting with people. I think this is a real people's industry. It's a creative industry as well. Yeah. Creative people tend to not shut up a lot of the time. Yeah, 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 yeah that's good. No, that's similar to you know what I mean? It is, yeah. yeah. And that's the whole point of it. It's like, you know, just mingling, talking to people. Yep. Um, we classify ourselves, I think, as a yeah, non qualified psychologist. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes. <I mean>. sometimes. <laughs> and you just got to listen. But, uh, but yeah, generally, I think it's being around people. I enjoy being around people most yeah, of the time. Cool. So. Easy, man. A uh, couple more. What's the dream? What's the end game here? So the end game, the end game would be to have, because we've got the house next door as well, yes. is to have both the salon and the house all set up yep. properly. Yep. Um, we would like to have, obviously, a whole colour section over there and then yep. cutting over here. Yeah, yeah, awesome. You know, if ever happens to buy the whole building, it would be great. Yeah, nice. That way we can actually start knocking some holes into walls and yeah. actually moving basins and all sorts. But yeah, that's the end game. That's where we want to be. Yeah. Um, we love the street that we work in, so we don't really want to move. So yeah, that end is what it is. It's yeah. a great well, spot. Well, uh, Clean Street. Clean Street. Right? Clean Street Croydon. So Clean Street Croydon. it's a great little spot. So yeah, that's the end game is to have both places yep. running all yep. as one. Yep. Yep. Um, and then yeah, hopefully for me as a my own individual thing, I do a lot of education. Okay. Cool. So I teach a lot um, outside of Adelaide in Australia. Oh, yeah, nice. Um, and I teach cutting and stuff. So the other side of it as well is to actually have a lot of my own education learning. Yeah, well. Wow. So that might oh, not happen nice. this year, but that's cool. something for the pipeline to keep moving. Yeah. Yeah, nice, man. How did you get to that? How did you get to that? So, oh man, about I reckon 13 years ago, mm -hmm. I started doing education for a company. Yep. And they put us through some full-on training. Um, that they wanted us to learn how to do like um, stage presence and all that yep. sort of stuff. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and yeah, so I went through that. To get in there, I'd won numerous awards. Yeah, wow. So I took out first place in Australia um, in the cutting sections, yep. um, in the hair cons. Um, photographic awards I've won. Yeah, wow. So it's, I've done a fair bit of behind the scenes work. The real deal here, man. <laughs> real deal. Yeah, yeah, you um, got that. Sorry. To actually to get to do education and then they come to you and they sort of yeah. said like we really want you on board and that's how it all started and that was about yeah I think that was about 13 years ago I reckon if you yeah, well, went back to it. Oh yeah. Um, but then I've been educating ever since so yeah. Yeah cool. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, any advice for some others starting off in the, in the industry or business? Similar to yours. So I suppose people starting off in business. Mm -hmm. Don't expect everything to happen all at once. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, it's a slow burn. Yeah, <laughs> and you got to keep working at it at hundred miles an hour. Hundred um, percent. Yeah, I think I think that's a huge a huge thing that uh, you learn very quickly in business yeah. is that you can't just expect to open and then just. Yeah. You can't well, some people can. Some people are lucky. Yeah, 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 yeah. But 
be generally, proactive, right? You've got to be proactive all the time. You've got to constantly yep. keep changing things. It's yep. just it's just keep working, working and working your business till, until it works for you more than anything else. So, yeah, true. Um, and you don't really want to be working in your business. You want to be working on your business. So. Yeah, spot on. I like it. All right, we're going to hear one of the questions, guys. Okay. You ready, Dan? I am. All right, I'm starting in three, two, one. What makes you happy? Soccer. Soccer. <laughs> R&B or rock and roll? Rock and roll. All right. Um, Elvis or James Dean? Whoa, James Dean. James Dean, I like it. Favourite dance move? Favourite dance move? <laughs> What's your favourite dance move? <laughs> Stay alive. Stay alive, all right, kill up. Um, oh, where are we going, where are we going? How many chickens would it take to kill an elephant? <laughs> 300. <laughs> Um, if you had the world's attention for 30 seconds, what would you say? G'day. G'day. <laughs> it's funny, Michaela's like, oh, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, football or soccer? Obviously, we've answered this one. Yeah, what, what do you call it? Soccer. I call it European football. Call it European football. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? Oh, definitely not. <laughs> Best top of cheese? Ooh, 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 brie. Okay, and if you could sit down with one person, past or present, who would it be and why? Jim Morrison. Yeah, why? Because he's an absolute legend. Beautiful. <laughs> there we have it. One million questions. He aced it. Well done, man. Good job. Thanks Thank a lot. One love. Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> <laughs>